thanks for meeting me here. I know, it's weird, right? I mean, we weren't exactly friends back then, back in school. We never hung out, we just sort of ended up around each other a lot. Same circle and all, so... I get it. It was probably weird getting a message out of the blue from me, of all people. But, I appreciate it, you still coming and all. Oh. Sorry, I just, oh. I'm trying to put it off. I haven't really done this before. But, here goes. I feel like an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to the point. I wasn't... I wasn't very nice to you. I was... pretty... pretty mean. Actually, I was a rude kid, and I was going through a lot of stuff on my own, and I took that out on you. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean that as an excuse. Just, I wanted you to know it wasn't your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. You were just you. And you were different and you knew what you liked, and you were unashamed, and you didn't care what anybody else thought about your hobbies, your interests, about you. And I wanted to... I wanted to make you care about what people thought. Because I cared, and I couldn't stop caring. It doesn't excuse it. I was old enough to know better, and... I was old enough to have treated you like a person. With respect. Well... Yeah, that is why I wanted to meet with you. Is that stupid? Uh, sorry, it just... I felt crappy trying to type it out. I kept trying to write out messages online to send to you. I type out an apology and say sorry and whatever, but it just didn't seem genuine. I guess I felt like if I spent all that time being rude to you in person and mean and nasty in high school, if I was going to apologize, I thought that should be in person, too. 
face to face. I thought that was, well, I thought that was what you deserve. I've tried to grow up and I've tried to realize that I did some nasty stuff that I shouldn't have. I said some nasty stuff that I shouldn't have. And I know there's not any undoing that. But I think it's at least worth acknowledging it. And letting you know that I know and I take responsibility for what I did. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not even sure that it matters. I'm sorry for bugging you. I'm sorry for bringing up old stuff you probably don't want to think about. But I'm... I'm trying to be better. To do better. For myself, yeah, sure. But for the people that I didn't treat well, too. It's the least you deserve. So just... Just know that I'm sorry. If I could go back, I... I wouldn't have done it. Hindsight is twenty twenty and all. You don't have to accept the apology. I, I get that. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. I did some pretty awful stuff. And I should have just tried to be friends and get to know you and... Maybe I could have learned a little more about you and learned how I could have been more like you. You know, not caring, being who you wanted to be and liking what you wanted to like, all that. <laughs> no, I get it. We're all insecure about some stuff, I know that. I don't want to make it sound like I think you didn't have to deal with anything, or like you didn't have to try. But that's the difference. You did try, and I just took it out on everybody. We were all dumb kids, and... Now we're just dumb adults, and we're still just trying to figure everything out. But you were willing to let yourself be a little dumb and a little silly and put yourself out there and have fun without caring what people thought about you. And that was what I was afraid of. Which is why I have to make myself look dumb and silly like this. Now. I want it to be cool and popular and whatever. Stuff that didn't end up mattering at all once we left school. Turns out, the only people who want to hang out with mean, nasty people are other mean, nasty people. Eventually, my friends all kind of 
lost touch when we didn't have anybody to hate on together. So I had to start over. I tried to do things differently. I tried to meet better people and be a better person, too. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to make this about me. I guess I just want you to know the way you didn't back down from me and kept being yourself. That really made an impression on me. To be honest, you probably did more good just by doing that alone than I did with anything, with everything, all combined from all of my school years. So, I'm sorry. I really, really am sorry. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're still not afraid to be yourself and like the things you like and hang out with the people you like. Everything like that. And look, I know this is weird. Trust me, Jesus, I feel real stupid right now. But I acted stupid, so it's fitting. If, if you're ever willing to give me a chance, I'd like to make up for the way I treated you back then. Maybe I could... I don't know. Maybe I could take you out to lunch and get to know you better. Not... not like that or anything, just... as somebody I have a lot of respect for. And somebody I think I could still learn a thing or two from. It's okay if not. You can text me your answer later if you'd like. I know this maybe is a lot to process. And Honestly, you could just never text me again if you wanted. That would probably be justified. And that's your call. But if you're ever feeling generous... Yeah. So... I'm sorry. You deserved better than to be treated the way I treated you. So. Thanks. For coming. And. For hearing me out. I really do appreciate that and. I hope maybe, I hope maybe this helps just a little. <laughs>